Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 before here bringing you another Minecraft World War II bath to build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Chapayev, Chapayev class cruiser. The Chapayev class was a group of cruisers built for the Soviet Navy during World War II. 17 ships were planned, but only 7 were actually started before the German invasion. Two incomplete ships were destroyed when their building yard in um, Nikolaev was captured by Nazi Germany, and the remaining 5 cruisers were completed only in 1950. So, very interesting uh, ship here, as we're going to categorize it as World War II. However, the ships here weren't actually put into service in, um, until 1950. So, kind of a weird... Um, Weird ship here, but we are going to be classifying it as our first World War II uh, cruiser. Uh, yeah, uh, for the Soviet Union. Overall, really cool, interesting ship. They actually classify this as a light cruiser, which is kind of insane considering how uh, big of a ship this is. This thing is actually a large ship and really has a heavy cruiser type 5 to it. Um, some might even say like a little bit of a battle cruiser, but pretty interesting ship. Um, and all that I guess what makes it a light cruiser is it's only got six inch guns but still I mean it has quite a pack of punch and definitely looks like a pretty modern um, S ship for World War II but yeah overall pretty fun build uh, should be a nice one to add to our to uh, finally start I guess you could say our Soviet uh, BAFTA build fleet here we did have the Bogut here that came out as a tutorial recently and the Chapayev is just basically a um, kind of extension of that though the boogie tier definitely be a more of a world war one type of um vessel so again should be a fun build and kind of kickstart our soviet navy which we'll hopefully see more of in the future before we go and dive into taking a look at the ship i want to go ahead and give some personal thanks to patreon supporter derek frost westbrook for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions where you go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing really helps support the work I do on my channel and is always fairly greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check it out if you are interested in um, becoming a patron supporter. However, with that, let's go ahead and move into taking a look here at the ship and see exactly where we're going ahead and building. So, starting off with, uh, we have obviously the bow of the ship here, and uh, this bow of the ship includes basically our two front turrets here. These are triple turrets with 6 inch guns, so uh, quite a pack of punch capability up there. As we work our way back further, we have the Connie Tower, um, which again, makes this look a lot bigger than the ship I guess really is or more capable uh, has a really big conning tower for being a light cruiser so big conning tower a lot of uh, radar systems and all that kind of stuff on that as we work away on the sides here we have anti-aircraft batteries fire control systems all that fun, fun stuff lifeboats uh, secondary battery complement and a crane right here which presumably would be for a seaplane of some sort or whatever and as we continue our way back, we have just various uh, secondary batteries located in this vicinity, anti-aircraft guns. And then on the back here, we have two, or turrets three and four. Again, that. So, thinking about the ship, it's got 12 6-inch guns, quite a complement of firepower. Uh, definitely a uh, pretty good, sizable threat, not, and that's not including the secondary guns also on there. Which, um, could, I believe, are 37 millimeter guns that are more intended for anti-aircraft purposes, but could be, you know, used as anti, you know, or fight shape, fight, ship fighting capabilities, I guess, on lightly armored targets such as um, that of like destroyers and stuff. So, really cool ship. Should be a fun build. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the tutorial. If you're completely new to my path to build tutorials, the way I like to structure these first few layers here where everything's going to be symmetrical is I like to do half on camera, half off. So uh, for the first uh, few sections here of this build, we will be doing basically the center line of the ship and then copying the right side. And then it'll be up to you guys after we finish the right side to in between layers take the right side over to the left side. It's pretty straightforward and these first layers are pretty easy so there really shouldn't be too much complications. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. First thing we want to talk about is the placement of the ship. So the ship will be placed in the water, obviously, if you're, that's what you're intending on doing. And to make sure that this sits correctly, we want to make sure that this layer here, layer number one, is going to be in level with the water. So the top of this red block here should be sticking out of the water just a tiny bit. Um, and it should be level here with the water. That's very important to make sure that's correct because that will basically decide how the ship sits in the water. You don't want too high or too low, so make sure that that is correct. 
Anyways, let's get started. We're going to start off by placing down two brick walls, and then we're going to place down a row of red concrete that in total is going to be 37 blocks long, followed by two brick top slabs, two red concrete blocks, and then a acacia wood trap door on the end. And that right there is going to be your center line of the ship. From this point, moving to the sides, we want to go ahead and begin by going ahead and placing down a brick, a red stainless pane coming off the side here of the third red concrete block from the front, then two brick walls back, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, twenty, eight, 3, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 28, red concrete blocks back, we're going to then place down two brick ups downstairs, two end rods back, and then we're going to place down a birchwood slab like so on the end there. After that's all done, we want to go and then go back up to the front, to the sides, we're going to go and go one, two, three, four, and our fifth red concrete block, we're going to place down one and two brick top slabs, and then after that we're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen, brick up downstairs back, and then two brick top slabs like down the end there. We then want to go ahead and count from the back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and our 6th stair, stair from the back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, so this stair here, we're going to go ahead and place down a acacia wood sign on the side of it, and same thing for the front here, we're going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and our 6th block, or stair back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we're going to place down our sign here, and we just want to go ahead and place down signs here along the sides here of these sign, or uh, along these stairs here going all the way along the side of the ship like so and the same thing will be done obviously on both sides there and once we have that all complete here this would, and both sides transferred over this is what the top down view for this layer should look like that right there will complete layer number one for the build and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number two all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number two for layer two to get started with here we're going to begin by placing down a andesite wall on top of this brick wall followed by a light gray stainless pane coming off that andesite wall toward the front we then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks and go back from this um, wall here. We're going to be placing down a total of, of um, what is going to be 18 stone blocks back. So we have 18 stone blocks in total. And then down the center here, we're going to then place down a long row of acacia wood planks, equaling a row 24. And then a stone block here on the very end. Coming off the stone block, we're going to place down an item frame. We're going to then place down a crossbow in the item frame and rotate so it's facing downwards like so. And that right there is going to be the center line of the ship and we're going to start working our way out to the sides now. To begin with we're going to place down two polished black stone buttons on these two stone blocks. Followed by one and two light gray stainless panes and then one and two andesite walls. We're going to then take our stone blocks, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stone blocks, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, um, acacia wood planks, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, stone blocks back, and then we're just going to go ahead and take our stone stairs and place down a row of three of stone up sand stairs like that to the back. Going back up to the front here, we're going to go to these stone blocks here, after the anti walls, we're going to place down two polished black stone buttons, then two uh, light green stainless paints. Two main inset walls, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stone blocks back. Then a row of 1, 2, 3, inset walls, 1 and 2, like race stainless panes, and then 1 and 2, and 3. Polished black stone buttons. Actually, sorry, this can be 3, like race stainless panes, and then 2 polished black stone buttons on these last two stone blocks here. And then after that, on the side of the ship here, we're just going to run polished black stone buttons all on these stone blocks like so all the way to the front like that on the side and once you have that done you take what we do on the right side flip it over to the left side and you'll pretty much have layer two all complete and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer which will be layer number three all right guys so going ahead and moving into um our layer three layer three is going to be a bit of a uh, kind of hybrid layer we're gonna go ahead and do like the first half of the ship here half on half off and then the rest of it will be built all together as we start to get into some of the detail and stuff like that in the back so let's get started so for this layer we're going to place down a inside wall on top of this uh like race stainless pane from this we're going to go back one two three four five stone blocks and we then want to go and then place down a row of acacia wood planks this row right here is going to be a total of 15 acacia wood planks back and on the end of that row of 15, we're going to then place down a stone block here on the very end. 
Now with that done, going back up to the front, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame. So we're going to grab one of those real quick. And we're also going to need a crossbow. We're going to place down a item frame on both sides of the stone block. A crossbow, and we're going to rotate the crossbow so it faces downwards like so. Followed by a polished black stone button here. Two light gray stainless panes, two andesite walls, then one, two, three, four, five stone blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine acacia wood planks, and then a stone block here in the end. Next row here, we're going to place down one, two, polished black stone buttons, one, two, inside walls, or sorry, in uh, light gray stainless paints, and then two inside walls, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone blocks back, a stone brick wall, and polished black stone buttons here all on those stone blocks like that on the sides. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that both sides are caught up. So you want to take it down the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you want to make sure that both sides are like this before we go ahead and move forward. So I'll give you a second here to pause the video if you need to, to go ahead and build both sides. And um, with that, we're going to go ahead and now move into the section we're going to go and do all together. So at this point here, we get into this section of the ship, which is basically our midsection to our rear section. And we're going to go ahead and basically start to do everything all together. And the same thing will be for the rest of the layers for the ship. So to begin with, for this, we're going to go and place down a quartz stair here. Followed by a second quartz stair and then a quartz slab. We're going to go and then place down a birchwood sign on the side of the stair. Same thing will be done over here on this side as well. So just like this. After that, we're going to go and then place down a stone block here in the center. Followed by a second stone block back and then two light gray stainless panes to the sides there of that. We're going to go and then place down a row of three of stone blocks across. Followed by a acacia wood trapdoor to both sides. We're going to place down a narrow row of three of stone blocks across, this time with a andesite wall to both sides. A narrow row of three of stone blocks across, followed by an acacia wood trapdoor. And same thing here, acacia wood trapdoor, like that for another row. We're going to then place down a narrow row of stone across, a andesite wall to both sides. A another row of three, or actually another two rows of three. And then on the ends of these rows here, we're just going to place down a case with trapdoors to both sides. Now, if you're on Java, we can go ahead and also add a bit of extra detail in this vicinity. And that's going to be going ahead and grabbing some item frames and some orange stained glass panes. And what we can do here is we can actually place down item frames on top of these blocks here. And on in those, we can place down the orange stained glass panes to kind of keep a little bit more of an orange deck color. Now this isn't something that's completely necessary and if you're on Bedrock or Pocket Edition you will not be able to do the item frames in the same block space as the trapdoors. But if you are able to on Java I would recommend it just because you get a little bit more of that orange deck color and you don't have that stone just sticking out um, as much as it does. But again not a completely necessary feature but something I would recommend doing. We're going to go then take our acacia wood pressure plates we're going to place down one, two, three along the sides here. One, two, three. And we want to go then place down a row of one, two, three stone blocks down the center here. And we're going to then place down two inside walls to both sides, followed by two light gray stainless panes going forward. And we're going to go ahead and also place down one more stone block that extends, so that's actually going to be a row of four there. We're going to then place down an inside wall like so. And at this point, we're going to start to get into our turrets. So to begin with, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair here, a skeleton skull to both sides of that stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block in the center, followed by an andesite wall to both sides. And we're going to then place down a dispenser in the center, and then a light gray stainless pane to both sides of that. And then lastly, we're just going to take some end rods, and we're going to place down end rods coming off these glass panes and the um, dispenser, just like so. We're going to then place down two quartz slabs to both sides, and for a bit of detail there in the center, we're going to grab some redstone piers and place down redstone piers like this, with the notches spread apart like so. And then on the very back here, we're just going to place down a acacia wood trapdoors on these stone upside down stairs, and then an end rod here in the center, and then we're going to go up from this end rod and back like that for the back uh, rear mast. Now also at this point here, we're going to place down an acacia wood trapdoor on top of these two stone blocks and again using the same technique we used on the back or on the sides there if you're on java we can go ahead and place down a item frame underneath the skeleton skull and we can go ahead and place down our orange stained glass in that and same thing here under these end rods you can go ahead and apply the same thing here like that for that bit of extra detail there anyways uh that right there is going to basically conclude for what we have set up here for layer three here is an aerial overview of what we have at, with this layer complete and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer layer number four Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we moved into layer 4, 
for layer four to start with, we're gonna place down an end rod on top of the same side wall here, and then just a iron bar on top of it like so. We're gonna go then place down two acacia wood pressure plates uh, like that, followed by two a redstone repeater here with a notch to spread apart. We're gonna then place down another acacia wood pressure plate here, a flower pot to both sides, and then a, another redstone repeater on top of this stone block. And this time we are gonna be going ahead and going back from the redstone repeater with a lever. After that lever, we're going to go ahead and place down an acacia wood uh, trap door to both sides and dark oak wood signs on the sides here of those acacia wood slabs. So like so. Then after we get that done, we're going to go ahead and then skip a space back from the lever, or sorry, the um, iron bar. We're going to go ahead and place down a, a uh, dispenser, like so, with a um, lever coming off of it. We're going to go ahead and place down a light grain, stainless pane to both sides of that dispenser, with a end rod coming off those glass panes. We're going to then place down a stone block back from it and a side wall to both sides. And we're also going to go ahead and grab a stone upside down stair and place down a stone upside down stair like so. Going back from that stone block and also some skeleton skulls on both sides of the stair like so. After that's done, we want to go and then place down a stone uh, block. So we're going to skip space back from the stone upside down stair and place down a stone block here. And then on the back of this, we're going to place down a stone, actually sorry, a second stone stair after that. To the sides here, we're going to place down two light gray stainless paints, so just like that on both sides. And we then want to go and take our acacia wood pressure plates and just place down one, two, one, two, like that out to the sides. And one also like that going back on both sides. And also one additional one back like that. Now at this point here, also again doing the same technique if you're on Java, we can go and place down our item frames here uh, underneath those blocks. Again, not a priority, but just something we can do to kind of help keep that orange color there for the deck a little bit more consistent throughout the build. Then at this point, uh, we want to go and then place down a stone button on these two blocks here. And then taking iron trap doors, we're going to place down a row of one and two iron trap doors back like so. And then a row of one, two, three, four, five uh, stone full blocks back. Actually, sorry, five, six stone full blocks back. At this point here, we're going to then place down two light gray stainless paints to the sides here of these first two stone blocks. And then taking our andesite walls, we're just going to place down a row of one, two, three, and then a stone block here on the end. Same thing over here, one, two, three, and a stone block. We're going to go then take our levers, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four levers for anti-aircraft guns. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to run one, two, three acacia wood pressure plates along the side here to cover up that stone. This section here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dispenser again. We're going to place it down on top of these um, stone brick walls. And we're going to also place down a tripwire hook, which will be coming off the side here of those um, dispensers. Once that's done, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick stair. A stone brick full block. We're going to need also a sign and also a fence gate. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this trap door, followed by a stone brick full block behind it fence gate came off the stair opened up toward it and a dark oak side on the side of the stair same thing will be done over here on this side so just like this after that uh, we then want to go ahead and take our acacia wood pressure plates we're just going to go ahead and fill in these two stone blocks row three here row three here and then at this point we're going to place down the andesite wall in the center followed by a stone block back from it and then again two acacia wood pressure plates out to the sides there and also we're going to place down end rods here to both sides of that stone block and then an acacia wood pressure plate to those acacia wood uh, trap doors. Then after this we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of um, pressure plates across and then to the sides we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick full block, a stone brick stair going back and just like we did for these uh, forward batteries we're going to place down dark oak wood fence gates to the sides there and then a dark oak wood sign on the side of the stairs, like so. We then want to place down a stone block here in the center, and then we're going to take our acacia wood pressure plates and place it down to both sides like that. We're going to place down a second stone block back, and then a andesite wall. At this point, we're going to place down two stone brick slabs in these sections here, and we're going to place down dark oak wood fence gates coming off this slab here, like that on both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down another acacia wood pressure plate there in the center and at this point we're going to go ahead and have our turret number three here we're going to place down a stone upside down stair stone full block and a dispenser 
Like so. Go into the sides here. We're going to place down an inside wall to both sides of the stone block. Some uh, light gray stainless paints to both sides of the dispenser. And skeleton skulls here on the sides of those stone brick stairs. And to finish this off, we're just going to go place down end rods coming off the panes and the dispenser. And on this turret here, which will be turret number four, we're going to place down a redstone up here on top of the stone block, separate the notches, and then a flower pot on top of those two um, inside uh, walls. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer four. Taking a look at it from up above, this is what we should have for the top down view. And uh, with that though, that right there is going to conclude layer 4. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 5. Alright guys, moving into layer 5. To go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of the stone block here. Separate the notches and then a flower pot on both sides on top of those walls. We're going to go then build our turret number 2. Which is going to start off by placing down a dispenser here on top of this block. Followed by a lever coming off of it. A light gray stainless pane to both sides of it. And again, a lever coming off those glass panes. We're going to place down an air stone block behind this. Followed by an inside wall to both sides and then a stone upside down stair like so and that's going to be followed up with a skeleton skull on both sides of that stone upside down stair. We're going to then place down a acacia wood pressure plate here and then a stone full block on both sides of the stone full block we're going to have a skeleton skull. We're going to then place down there two stone blocks back followed by two iron trap doors to the sides here and we're going to place down some birchwood signs on the sides of those iron trapdoors. So like this to both sides. After that we're going to place down two stone blocks down the center here again and inside walls here to both sides like so and actually that's only going to be one inside wall or one stone block and we're going to leave this indent right here and in that we're going to place down a daylight detector and we're going to turn that to the night mode. We're going to follow this up by going ahead and grab ourselves a dark liquid fence gate and we're going to place down a fence gate here on this stone block and open it up toward the back as well as placing down the iron trap door like this to both sides. Now coming off the iron trap doors we're going to place down dark liquid signs and also coming off the actually sorry my bet it's going to be birchwood signs coming off the fence gate and the trap doors. And then to the sides here we're just going to go ahead and grab iron frames and place down iron frames here on the sides of these um, iron trap doors. And then a lever on top of these dispensers, which will be flicked toward the back like so. After that, going ahead and going back here to our stone block, we're going to place down our stone block up, followed by a stone brick up down stair like so. We then want to place down a um, placeholder block on both sides of the stone brick stair, and we're going to then place down a skeleton skull coming off the side of the block, and then we'll just delete those stone blocks like so. After that, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to then place down a stone brick wall, which will be located on top of this stone block with a skeleton skull coming off the back of that um, wall. We're going to then place down an iron trap door located right here. And on both sides of that iron trap door, we are going to be going ahead and placing down a dark oak sign. And then we're going to follow this up by placing down a stone brick slab and a dark oak fence gate coming off that stone brick slab with uh, dark oak signs on the sides there of the that slab like that. Then on top of uh, turret number three here, we're going to place down a flower pot on both sides, redstone appear in the center, and we're going to flip the notches apart from each other like that to go ahead and make turret number three. And with that all done right there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number five. Take a look at it from up above, this is what we should have it from the top down view. With that though, that is it for layer five. Let's go ahead and move into layer number six. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six to get started with, we're going to go to turret number two here. We're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of this stone block here, and a flower pot to both sides like so. We're going to go then place down a stone block on top of this one here and then a andesite wall coming off that stone block forward like so. We're also going to place down an iron trap door on both sides of that stone block with dark oak with signs wrapped around these two sides of the iron trap doors. So just like that. After that we're going to go then place down two stone blocks going back with skeleton skulls here on the sides. We're going to go ahead and place down an air stone block in the center, and after that we're going to go ahead and place down an acacia wood trap door to both sides, and then a birchwood sign coming off the side of the acacia wood trap door. Same thing over here, like so. After that, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, another acacia wood trap door in the center, and we're going to then again place down a stone brick wall, which will be going up from those walls right there and we're going to just take our birchwood signs and wrap around the stone brick walls 
like so, and also that Acacia would uh, trap door there. Now, after that, going back here to this section, we're going to go f up from the stone brick, or from the stone brick stair, from the stone brick slab, and then a top slab. So it'll look like this, and we then can just go ahead and finish this crane off by placing down an air slab on top of it. And coming down from that slab, we'll be going ahead and placing down a chain like this for that crane there in the mid deck. We're going to then place down an air stone block on top of this one, uh, followed by a end rod on top of this stair here. And we're going to then grab ourselves a lever, and we'll be placing down a lever on the sides here of this stone block to both sides. And then coming off that lever forward, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides there. Then continuing on, uh, we're going to grab ourselves a dispenser. We're going to place down a dispenser on top of that stone brick wall right there. And we're going to then place down a end rod to both sides of it. And that right there will basically complete that. And the last thing for us to do here is just to go ahead and grab a chain and place down a chain here on top of the skeleton skull. With that all complete though, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, 6. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 7. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 7. For layer 7, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to begin with by placing down a stone brick wall on top of this stone block here. We're going to go ahead and then wrap the stone brick wall in birchwood signs. Like so. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair that goes back from it. And then we're going to then place down a stone slab. Like so. And then a stone full block. And then to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and follow this up by placing down dark oak signs here along the sides here of those iron trap doors. And then we're also going to need a item frame. We're going to place down an item frame here on this side of the iron trap door like so. After that, uh, we want to go then place down a iron trap door on top of these two stone brick walls. Item frames here to the sides. And in those item frames, we're going to place down snowballs for some spotlights. After that, continuing back, we're going to go to this section here. We're going to place down a polished black stone slab on top of this block here. And then we also want to go and grab a dark oak fence gate. And we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate on top of this end rod. And we're going to have the fence gate open up toward the front. Like so. Then on top of these uh, levers here, we're just going to place down two chains up on both sides. And then also a chain up on top of that one right there. And then lastly for this layer, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever, and we're going to place down a lever here on top of the um, dispenser. With that all done though, that is going to complete layer number 7, and with that we're going to end up falling into our fi last final layers here. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, moving into our final layers here, we have layers 8 through 14. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this stone brick wall here. We then want to go ahead and proceed to place down an andesite wall around all four sides of this stone block. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take skeleton schools and we're going to place it down here in the corners, coming off these andesite walls. And then coming off the andesite walls to the outer sides of the ship, we're going to go ahead and place down the end rod to both sides, like so. After that's all complete, uh, we want to go ahead and then build up from this by placing down a dispenser on top of this block here. We're going to place down the end rod coming off both sides of the dispenser. And then a lever on top of it. Like so. After that, we're going to also place down an iron trap door, which will be on top of this stone brick wall right there. And then go up from these skeleton skulls in the front, we're going to place down chains. So we're going to place down one and two chains up, and one and two chains up, just like that. And same thing back here one, two, one, two. After that, uh, we want to go and then take our end rods. We're going to go up one, two, and three. End rods up like so and we're going to then place down a stone upside down stair on top like so and after that uh, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate to both sides of this end rod just like that end rod to both sides and after we have that done uh, we're going to then place down a skeleton skull which will be coming off this end rod like that toward the front there and then on top of that upside down stair, we're just going to place down a, a row of three of iron bars like that for the top of that mass. Now, going ahead and continuing on, uh, we're going to then place down a polished block stone slab on top of this stone block. And then uh, continuing on further, going to the back here 
for the rear mast, we're going to be going ahead and placing down another brick fence post on top of this here, followed by a polished black stone wall. So wall up, and then we're going to then place down a polished black stone block. And then we want to go then switch to our birchwood fence posts. We're going to place down two fence posts up of birchwood, followed by a dark oak wood uh, fence gate coming off both sides. Like so, the top one, and then an end rod out from those sides. And then we're going to place down a polished black stone upside down stair on the very top. So like so. And a wither skeleton skull on top of that stair. Followed by a dark oak trap door in the back, and then a narrow brick fence post on top of this trap door. After we reach this point here, uh, we would then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some wither skeleton skulls and we're also going to go ahead and go to the sides here of this fence gate we're going to place down wither skeleton skulls on the side of the fence gate right there as well for that mast now at this point we're going to then grab our barrier blocks and our um, stone buns here and we're just going to go ahead and basically make the rigging here so to begin with we're going to go, ahead and go to this section here we're going to place down one and two barrier blocks one two and then one one now for these barrier blocks we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and uh, three stone buns here. One, two, then one, two, wrapped around there, and then one. So the same thing will be done over here. One, two, one, two, one, one. And it'll be one, two, three buttons. One, two, then one, two, then one. So just like that there for the uh, rigging there for our rear mast. And then going to the front here for our front frontal mast here. We're going to place down barrier blocks coming down from this end rod, so one, two. We're going to place down two stone buns on the first one, and then one right here. Same thing over here. So two stone buns like so, and then one right here. And then we're going to then take a lever, and we're going to place down a lever here on the bottom of this barrier block and flick it toward the inside. Same thing over here, just like that. After that's all done, uh, we then want to take our barrier blocks, and we're going to start from... This iron trap door, we're going to place down two barrier blocks forward, two stone buns on the side. Uh, or sorry, one stone bun on the side, and then the other one's going to be on the bottom. Just like so. We're going to then go off this stone bun, one, two, three. We're going to place down two on the side here, and then one down. And then coming off that um, button there, we're going to place down another row of three of barrier blocks going down and forward. Same thing, two stone buns, one on the bottom there. And again, one, two, three. Two stone buns on the side, one on the bottom. And then again, coming off that button on the bottom, one, two, three. Barrier blocks like that. And then we're going to then place down two buttons on the side. And um, actually, we're just going to place down all three stone buttons there on the side for that one. And there, there will be a front cable like that right into the front. And then for the back here, for these cables, we're going to place down two barrier blocks, sorry, three come off these fence gates, stone buns on the outsides, like so. We then want to go ahead and go up from those. Um, so we're just going to go up, like so, and then we're going to place down a stone bun on the bottom of that barrier block. After that, we want to go ahead and then go uh, out to the sides with a barrier block. Like that, and this row right here is just going to go ahead and go all the way back and connect up to our end rods here. Just like so. Same thing over here. Going to connect all the way up. Now we can go and then take our stone buns. We're going to place down stone buns on these two, on the two of those barrier blocks, and then the sides there of the last three. Over here, same thing. Um, so our two barrier blocks right there on the bottom, and then three along the side there. And with that all complete there, that right there is going to wrap up uh, what we have there for uh, layers 8 through 14. And with that, that will complete my tutorial here for the uh, Chapayev class um, of light cruisers. 
Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do and amuse this build, I do ask you guys giving proper credit for it. This will be for the build between my channel or this video if this does create social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use a favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun, and all that fun stuff. Again, the big special links to Patreon support, Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.